Hello everybody, I am Brandman19 and welcome to episode 12 of our Sweden campaign in Empire Total War. So again, we left you on a cliffhanger here, so I guess 1383 versus 1122, we are going to beat the Hanoverians as fast as we can and uh, pretty much put a into fighting on land in uh, Europe for a, just a little while. I really want to develop these provinces if I can. I don't want to get these guys out of the way. Thank you. Let's see, these guys... I wonder if I could force something to happen with like so few. Tell you what, give me these as well. And I can guarantee a victory with just those. That's forward, looks like they're coming forward. I want you to hold here. Rush two. They seem to be focused on the left flank, but they're also coming up on the entire line. It's difficult to tell what to do right now. Fast forward, move everybody up on the line right. That way we fight everybody pretty equally. They put line infantry, they got right mixed in with us. Go, we'll break them, we shatter them. There you go, keep going. Kink in the wall is screwing us up. There we go. Got him out that kink. These guys are fighting here. March forward. Run here. Fire into the sides of him. Come on. Keep up the good work. Yeah, they're pretty much shattered before they even get involved. Yep, there they go running as well. In the battle, heroic victory. I mean, we still do very well. We lost 469 to his 1063. He goes actually retreating further back. Let's do that. go. Everybody can come down here. I don't reckon he would want to attack any further. I've lost all my money anyway. So, um... One thing I'm going to do is end up building a whole... You know, fixing this army up to 20 as well. I could have built them up to 20 in the time it took him to walk around, but decided not to. is 100% Protestant right now. This place could use more though. Plus 3.7. Ok. 
take in the turn. I just waited it out. These guys really, even Hanover didn't even do anything that turn. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. Move on over here and hold it. Okay, um, you. You can do that. You're gonna get those three, get that, and then you're gonna keep moving on. You're gonna get me square formation, the military syllabus. don't know what to you invest you <laughs> then I'll do you too umka or umia whatever it's called as will be up here I'll be a military fort that's for sure all right in the turn here hold off in Denmark for a little bit. I don't know. I, I guess we've taken too much uh, clamor for reform in areas. It's okay. He can do that. As long as he's not hitting you know, the college or anything, I'll live with it. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Square formation Select done. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide... Send this guy here. Let us embark. Hold here. Fix that place up. I mean, I guess technically I could do that one. Forty-five hundred for a fur exchange. And we'll do that. For Fifty-two, whatever, right now. He's got national debt that he's working on. What will that do? Minus one unhappy to happiness in lower classes. Negative three percent upkeep costs for all army units. A3 upkeep costs and plus six per town. Okay. Of course, national prestige. This guy's five away. Okay. In the turn.
It wouldn't be against France taking Netherlands out. That would help me take some territory. You know, that might go like, uh, might go rebel. Portland. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will Shipyard. help population grow. Yep, that guy's got one more. Send this guy here. To Orekjavik as we go. After that, I really don't have anything to do. What is he good at? Enlightenment tech, so he really should be back over here. I'll end up distributing my uh, scholars who are between these two once we get rid of Denmark in the next turn. Um, In the turn. Of course, we are blazing through the uh, the Enlightenment tech really fast here. It's 1725, and I'm almost done with the third row. I mean, there's only one more left, the fourth set. Which there's like five in there, and they usually take like 25 turns each. So, I mean, I might just leave them all there. And then afterwards, spread them. <laughs> okay. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port allows the construction of warships. Let's go down here and then siege it. Siege it for five turns. As for you, you're gonna walk all the way over here. They really don't have anybody left in. It's 1362 against 420. Uh, let's go ahead and do an assault. And we're gonna end our other enemy, Denmark, in this turn. I'm glad to finally do it, I know that. Been around way too long. Set this guy right here. Take one, two, three on the end.
There. 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 Then there. Fast forward it, everybody move. Once we get closer, we'll probably run once we get right up in here. They've been pretty well shielded. Only lost three. And these guys over here are going to be the ones that had the hardest time. Ready in five, four, three, two, and one run. Go, 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 go. Launch everything up. He got went down. That wasn't very smart. Yep, there they go. We've taken one side. Right now, we've taken the middle, actually. Should take this one here any second. Took the other. Took that one. Splitting these guys up. They're really badly hurt. We're firing at this guy on the ground. Firing at that guy on the ground. They're all running. Yeah, we'll allow you out the back. That should be it. In the battle, heroic victory. The end of Denmark. F to pay respects. We killed 420, lost 142 of our own. Put that in. Take a few turns on that. This will be a trade port. That's going to turn into a fishing port. And immediately I am opened up everywhere else. Biggest thing I can do right now is move this guy here. At fifty-eight ninety-four. I'll go ahead and do this since it's the last thing. Well, no, this guy's the last one I gotta do. 2500, can I do anything else? No. <laughs> but I do have more money for next time. Okay. Nation was destroyed Punjab. Nation destroyed Denmark. Yep, I did that. We now own Iceland. There's some animism up here, but not much. No villages are even left up here. So honestly, I'm not making a lot. I could just turn it off and let them build up their... Uh, let them build up their rate. Like the amount of people up here. In the turn. Seal off Iceland for a turn or two. I mean, why not, right? That's fine.
Yep, Marath is wide open again. I'm just kind of noticing like what all's open, what all's available for me to do. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port allows the construction of warships. Let's see, I want to look at how far this is. I mean, if I stepped away, what happens? Negative four? Okay, we can wait a few turns. We, only, we need to wait one more anyways. I mean... As you can see, I mean, we go up like a full thousand right now, just about. So, alright guys, I am going to end it right here. Um, I mean, really what's left to do is go in here, get these extra trade things done, build up my... Uh, I get the they get the spur going, and uh, once that's done, there's really not much, there's really you know it's really just keeping things upgraded. So, all right, guys, appreciate y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out the link for Discord in the description below, and I'll see you all next time.